again Trying hard but you wanna be my friend so, leaving the gym right now. Uh, if you notice, I got up a little bit later than I usually do because it is Friday. So Fridays are kind of my easier days, if you will. I only have one class today. Uh, and usually I'm traveling on Fridays. I'm going to either a seminar or a workshop or helping work in a doctor's office. But this weekend I'm actually gonna be in town, which will be really nice because I have a lot of different things that I need to get done and that I need to do. And it'll be a nice uh, break because I just finished midterms, so this will be a nice break in between to recalibrate, get all my things together, and prepare for the second half of this quarter. I can help you out. I can help you out. I do you guys get allergies? It's like the prime of springtime right now. And for me, I get allergies sometimes whenever I'm in a new environment. So me being in Georgia, this is the first spring I've experienced here. So notice I got a little bit of congestion going on. And I think it's because of the environment, you know, everything's blooming, stuff's happening, the bugs are coming out. Uh, but one thing that I have done that has helped me tremendously has been to use raw honey, uh, particularly raw local honey, because honey has, particularly raw honey, has the pollen and other allergens and stuff in it naturally at like a lower dosage. So that way you get your body and your immune system used to the allergen of the substance that's in the air and your body can adapt to it so you don't break out in allergies and stuff like that. I think it's, it's good for like moderate allergy people, allergy sensitive people like I am, particularly just like pollen and grass and all that stuff. Um, but getting local honey is good because you're getting the bee pollen and everything that's here. So a lot of this allergens and pollen and grass and all that stuff gets into the honey and then you consume that usually before the spring. And I've noticed it's helped me pretty good. Um, so a little pro tip, if you guys have allergies, try some raw local honey. Go to your grocery store or local farmer's market. You won't regret it. You're welcome. I can help you out. I can help you out. Look. <laughs> Crap. Oh uh, man, whoops. Yeah, that was not what I, uh, not what I planned. I did not intend for that to be a pool. I, I'm experimenting with cooking, right? So I'm making these grainless pancakes, which I've tasted the batter. It's actually incredible. They, they turned out green because I used this like uh, protein powder that had like some green superfood powder stuff in it. So that's why it was green, but it tastes amazing. I promise ya. Uh, I was going for like a, well, maybe it'll be, it, it's way too soon. Look at that. I, I was trying to make like a, a blueberry syrup kind of thing. So I made like some wild blueberries with like a little bit of butter and some honey. That fresh local honey that I talked about, uh, but way too pooly. I think because I used frozen blueberries. So like all the water that the condensation that was in the blueberries, it just needed to cook longer to evaporate all that out. Let, let, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I do a lot of cooking on my Instagram. Ding, follow me on my Instagram. If uh, you wanna see some recipes that I make. I'm an experimenter, and so some of the stuff I make turns out good, some of the stuff I make doesn't turn out so good. But uh, this is a live action look, just so you guys can see what that looks like. Let's get like a nice shot up in there. That actually looks pretty dang dope right there, right? Look at that. Maybe a little bit too much blueberries, maybe a little bit too liquidy, but look at that. This might be a little hot. Woo! Mmm! I'm on to something, guys. I'm on to something. I'm on to something. Damn, these are legit. And they're very healthy too. Grainless, paleo, gluten-free, all that jazz. Whoa. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm gonna perfect the recipe. I'm gonna perfect this stuff before I uh, ever think about sharing it with you guys because if I share a recipe with you guys, I wanna be perfect. I wanna be the best recipe so you can make it and love it. What's up guys, welcome back to the Ask Steven Show. I got a lot of energy if you guys can't tell. Let's go ahead and get into this thing because I have a feeling that I'm gonna get pretty fired up. I can't control necessarily what experiences some people might have had or what knowledge that people hold onto or what beliefs people have, but I can focus on the type of person that I want to become. I can focus on my skill set. I can focus on being the best doctor that I can possibly be. 
Because if that's your intention, that's your focus, to me it's so obvious that if you just focus on being the best doctor you can possibly be, like the results are gonna reflect that. That's results, that's result in that baby's life, that's results in that family. You can't refute results. Impact is where it's at. Chiropractic's quackery, but if that's true, I'm gonna be the best damn duck that I can possibly be. So, just got some work done. Uh, just finished that Ask Steven video as well. If you guys saw, it got a little bit heated. It got pretty fired up. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, but let me show you what- Blackened chicken, sweet potatoes, collard greens. Telling ya, I'm getting into this cooking thing, guys. Oh, but yeah, gonna have this lunch, then I'm getting ready for my class. It's head and neck or anatomy, so I'm just kind of reading through the slides as I go. I like to read. I usually, whenever I have the time to, I like to read the slides before the class. That way I kind of know what we're going over and then kind of prepare myself for what we're going through. That way, whenever I I see the stuff that we're going over. It's not the first time that I see it. You got it? So I'm gonna do this, have this lunch, then go to class. That's why. Pull it. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Trevor and Steve are actually dating, but their girlfriends don't know about oh, it. Like, now they should. No, it's enough. It hurt too much. So. Woo. I'm super excited. Do you know what's in here? Well, of course you don't, but I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so, in case you don't know what this is, this is a Nervoscope. Um, super, super excited about this. I've been waiting so long to finally get my hands on one of these, and I finally have it here. Super exciting. So what this is, the Nervoscope, it's an instrument that we use. It's mainly known in the Gonstead system, right? This is a pinnacle of the Gonstead analysis, okay? So it's one of the five criteria where you have visualization and then instrumentation followed by static motion and then x-ray. So the instrumentation part, what this instrument does is that we run it, you know, if you see on the videos, like watch Raheem's videos, watch Dr. Sue's videos, you guys will see they're all using this instrument. Every Gonstead chiropractor is using this instrument, a nervoscope. And what we do is we run it down the spine uh, around the coursing it on the spinal nerves. And what it's doing is it's essentially measuring temperature breaks. So usually it's comparing the temperature from one probe here to the other probe on the other side. So they're comparing right and left sides of the spinal nerves. And essentially, you know, temperature might swing back and forth. It's natural for that because it's gonna be, it's measuring the different heat differences. But what we're looking for is a little flick, a little flick of the wrist, a little flick of the needle. And what, what the flick represents is called a temperature break. So it's a, basically a quick deflection of the needle and that's sig uh, showing a significant sign of inflammation there or you know, this extreme slight temperature differential which is indicating of inflammation around that area of the spinal nerve. So this is an incredible instrument for us to use in the Gonstead system using the Gonstead analysis. It tells us a lot and I'm super excited to use this, get my hands with it. I, I've used them before, but I've just never had my own. And so, really excited to uh, to start using this thing and incorporating it into my analysis. What up, guys? Someone let me go to the store. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa. reason why I was at Staples was because I was printing off a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna need for my candidate training. So of course, the whole goal of this year or my main focus is becoming a Gonstead officer, which is going to happen December the 3rd of this year, of 2019, okay? And so anyway, so now I'm starting fourth quarter, I'm starting the candidate training program, I'll be in the candidate training program fourth, fifth, and sixth quarter, which is essentially preparing me to become an officer. So if you want to know what a Gonstead officer is, in short, it's basically learning everything within the Gonstead system, the entire technique, the analysis, literally everything. Uh, it's a very difficult exam, as you see, there's quite a bit of stuff, and this isn't even all of it. Um, you know, and a lot of the officers and a lot of students say that this is probably one of, if not the hardest exam that you'll take at this college. 
And I believe that, clearly, you see all this stuff, just because there's a massive amount of information. But, that being said, I usually don't get excited about taking exams, especially taking hard exams, but this excites me, because this is my work. This is my passion. This is my, I mean, this is my everything here. This is my future. And so, it motivates me and excites me just to see all of this here, because the goal is to absorb all this in here, right? And then apply it to be the best doctor that I can, that I can be. So I'm going to share with you guys kind of what we got going on. So I didn't know this, but uh, some friends told me apparently at Staples or Office Depot, you can print off paper and then they can kind of create these little binders for you. So pretty cool. So we got case notes here. Uh, the case notes are essentially basically just different issues. People coming people coming in with like different issues and things going on and really I, I, I believe it kind of shares sort of the treatment protocol for different diseases and issues and complications and whatnot. That's just based on a combined of hundreds of years of experience in these case notes. So these are going to be part of it. Uh, here's a little book on extremities. Uh, this is this little big little thick book that I printed out was the Clinical Chiropractic Book by Plogger. I have the online version, so I just decided to print it out because I like to have everything on hand. Um, then I got this. What I did here was I just printed off a bunch of different sheets. So they kind of give us a lot of other uh, information for us to study online. So I kind of printed off all the pages here. And I kind of, this is weird to me. Like, it's so weird seeing this. I'm not organized. I don't do this. So clearly, I'm excited about this because I'm not organized. I don't create folders. I don't you know, label things, but I have it labeled by all the different categories. So I just have kind of an outline of all of the information, just a generalization view of everything, uh, the putting it together section, which is again, kind of summarizing and, and putting things in bigger picture ideas, uh, disc theory, history, little thing on pediatrics, and then a bibliography section here. Again, this isn't everything. This is just some of the stuff. Uh, like I said, there's like case management, x-rays, um, I didn't include those. That's more hands-on stuff that I'm going to be working with, uh, with one of the teachers here and just getting more hands-on experience, I think. Um, of course, and then like being the doc is again more hands-on experience and stuff. So there's this and then of course I'm using the chapters book. This is the Holy Grail. This is the textbook that pretty much has the whole system included in it. Uh, highly recommend you guys get a copy of this if you want to learn the Gonset system. I know the Amazon one that I had linked below prior was a paperback. This is a hard uh, cover. The hard cover is nicer just because it's a hard cover, but the paperback, it still works. I mean, I believe this is the first hardcover copy they've made. All the other copies have been paperback. So like all the doctors who've had like the paperback versions for like 20, 30 years, some of them have, and they're still in good condition and they still have them and they still use the one that they bought while they were a student 20 years ago. So. They are good quality, so consider buying one if you want. Uh, again, I'll have it linked below, but all of this stuff, again, it's a lot, but I'm gonna be kind of just working through this stuff. You know, luckily I'm kind of getting a head start with a lot of this. So yeah, it might seem overwhelming, but it's supposed to feel overwhelming, right? Um, but when you really break it down, you really just get deeper into it. Again, I'm just gonna be breaking it down and getting into this stuff and just kind of hammering it away. And this isn't even everything. There's another extremities textbook that I'm using. Um, and then some more resources online. And then of course, a lot of the hands-on experience that you get just from practicing and whatnot. Really great, you know, this has been an exciting day. I got all my books together. We got all of the work now. I got my Nervoscope. Uh, I got my tables are coming in and they're shipping. I don't know, I think they'll be here at the end of the quarter, probably a few more weeks for them to get them all ready and ship them over. Um, and yeah, now it's just about putting in the work. It's about learning this stuff, about practicing, about putting in the time and putting in the effort. And that's, I think, what these next vlogs are gonna be about, is just doing this stuff, becoming the doc, learning the system, becoming an officer. That's the goal, and we after it. Guys, I'm going to enjoy this wonderful meal and then we're going to wrap it up. I didn't realize it was so late, but today has been such a great day, fun filled day. We got a lot accomplished. Definitely a huge step forward in the process of becoming not just a Gonstead officer, but a Gonstead doctor. 
So if you enjoyed this, make sure you're subscribed so that we can continue following the journey. And if you're not following me on all my other social sites, I'll also link those down in below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, guys. Give it a like if you did and be looking for more. See you guys in the next one. Peace. I can help you out. I can help you out.